What's up everybody? Thank you for tuning in to today's video, but before we get into it, we just wanted to wish everyone a happy holidays and a happy new year. 2021, 2020 is in the past, rear window. So thank you so much to all of our subscribers and to everyone following along. Yes, we wish you positivity, health, and just a good outlook on life and what you can do in the year ahead. We know that a lot of you do have health and fitness goals as a resolution. And my advice to you there is make sure you're picking some goals that are realistic and sustainable and make sure you enjoy doing it every day. Because if you don't enjoy doing it, you're not going to maintain it and then you're just going to roller coaster so pick something that's gradual and that you really really look forward to and then just kill it well said thank you now let's get into that beautiful burger footage what's up guys it's chris and today i'm going to share with you a delicious recipe for some little ooey gooey feta sliders keep watching All right, guys, so the last time we were together, we made pork souvlaki with tzatziki. And I said I was going to give you another recipe that recycled these ingredients that you already have on hand. So pita, we're gonna use the pita bread and we're gonna use the tzatziki sauce. Um, what are we gonna make? We're gonna make some feta sliders. Feta cheese is a delicious cheese. Everybody likes burgers. Sliders are a miniature version of a burger. So we're going to make some sliders and I'm going to use ground lamb. You could definitely use ground beef. You could even use ground turkey or ground chicken. Any one of those ground meats will be really, really good. Um, if you haven't tried lamb, I encourage you to try it. This is a great recipe. If you feel like maybe it wouldn't be taken well with your family, you could do half lamb, half beef, ease into it, whatever you feel like doing. Whatever you got in your fridge, we're going to use a good variety of spices, plain salt, it's Himalayan salt, but it's salt, um, ground garlic, some dried onion, dried thyme, dried oregano, and some red pepper flakes. So we're going to mix all that into the beef really well. And then for a slider, you want to make your sliders two ounces of meat per patty. And since we're stuffing them, we're going to separate those patties, a top patty, a bottom patty, and then we're going to put the cheese and put them together. So to make eight sliders, we're going to make 16 one ounce patties. And we're going to use our food scale for that. I really do like to use my food scale anytime I'm making burgers or meatballs because it helps the portioning be consistent. And it is especially important when you're making sliders and you want them to stuff just right. So we'll mix up our meat and we'll portion them out. So cut up your package and what I like to do is put my plate on my scale right away and you tear it out so it says zero. And then put your meat on there. There's 16 ounces in a pound. So in theory, this would weigh 16 ounces. And it's pretty close. It's 16.08. A lot of times you'll do that and you'll find 15 or 16.5. Um, so I just put it on there every time, never assume. And then you add your spices on. And with your spices, that didn't add very much. It's 16.75. So you take that 16.75, divide it by your 16 patty halves. And that's going to be one ounce point something small. Okay, so I have 16 mini balls that I'm going to flatten into patties. And then in between each patty, I'm going to put a quarter ounce of feta cheese. When you buy feta cheese, I highly recommend getting the kind that's in a brick, not the pre-crumbled. Pre-crumbled kind are dry and they have like additives for anti-caking. They don't melt as well, they cost more, and they take up more space. And the quality of the cheese is just better when in a brick. Now, really, 
for real feta cheese, you want to get the kind that's in the brine. For the sake of fitting this into my fridge, I had to get the kind not in the brine because sometimes those delicious brine containers are like this. Like Costco sells really, really good feta cheese. If you have space for it, get it there in the brine. That's my spiel on feta. And I'm particularly excited right now because Aaron just told me that he's going to try some of these feta sliders with me. So do I need anything else? No, you go. That's it? Just yeah. handle a little bite of it? Be careful, it's gonna be hot. It might ooze into your mouth. <laughs> Scary. And I guess the reason I'm really excited is because he's not normally a lamb fan and I've been pushing it on him ever since we've been dating almost 15 years. And uh, so he said he was gonna eat some of these today probably because he's super hungry and it's gonna be his fastest lunch option. But we're gonna get his reaction on camera as a non-lamb fan and get an honest feedback from him. I already know I'm gonna like it. So get your feta station ready. I did clean off one of my plates and I'm going to use one of my disposable cutting board liners on it because these patties are so sticky when I go to remove them I have a feeling I'm going to need to do a little bit of like peeling and getting those sliders off because the last time I made these they did stick to the plate quite a bit and since the patties are so small they're a little bit delicate and when you try to like rip it off the plate it could break a little bit. Um, so we're going to get these patties ready and then we will be cooking these outside on our Blackstone grill. So here we go. And for this I use the scale as well and I tear it out and I do the negative feature for my measuring. So get this nice and thin. You know a good trick too is I should have a little bowl of water. I'm going to get a little bowl of water. It helps your fingers from sticking. Alright so I just got some water and you just dab your fingers in there and it just helps so your fingers don't stick. And you can use that tip anytime you're handling raw meat. Um, try to keep the tips coming. And so you want to make these the same size. I'm going to get eight of them down before I start handling the cheese. And I think the most important thing for any type of a, like a cheese filled burger is you really got to seal those edges on the burger because if you cook it and they're not sealed your your burger will like split and start talking to you and the cheese will ooze out um, it still tastes delicious it's just it all comes back to that presentation so the reason i really like these sliders is the flavors are insane like you can see all the herbs in here and it's just nice to have a different flavor profile and that's really the trick to cooking is finding your recipes whether it's a meatball or a burger or a stir fry and then you know become really good at cooking it and then just change your seasonings and whether it's Asian or Greek or Mexican or Italian like I love cooking ethnic foods because it's never-ending and if if you ever want to like reach out and find some new ideas it's so easy to just pick a different cuisine, a different ethnicity, and learn about it and have fun with it. We have our bases complete. I'm going to rinse the cheese off of my hands because you want a nice clean, um, nice clean hands when you do the top layer so you don't get cheese all over the outside. And bonus, I already have wet fingertips so that I can handle these. So smush out the top, try to make them the same size. You know when they're this thin you don't really have many options because they're so small. And then put it on top, pick it up and really work those edges. If you put an extra care into any of these steps, have this step be it. You really want to seal it up 
get them nice and tight so that you don't have any explosions and <laughs> you'll find out once you get it on the grill we'll see how i do here i have made these before um some of my recipes i make on a whim and other ones i really test them out because i want them to be perfect and i have tested this one out the flavor's there it's good it's a keeper it's a winner and who doesn't like sliders so that's it one done seven more to go our patties are ready and they look beautiful and before we throw those on to our nice clean grill we're going to toast up our pitas and what we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of olive oil on the front and the back toast them up nice and toasty the trick with this is to get them nice and toasty because those burgers are juicy and they have a little bit of fat on them and having a nice crisp toast on your pita is going to help hold up to that meat if you're eating low carb and you don't want this on a pita have it on a salad. I would do some like crispy romaine, um, cucumber, and have a really good salad out of it. Another great idea for how you could serve these sliders is instead of meatballs in a tomato pasta, do, um, do these sliders on top. So do like a tomato marinara. You can do regular pasta or you could do zoodles or um, linguine noodles. There are so many low carb options and that's why I really like having my recipes just focus on the protein and then you can serve it however you want to serve it whether that's high carb low carb high fat low fat whatever your diet is um, just know that that's the way a lot of my recipes are designed is to help you figure out your protein flavor profile and then you just mix in your sides however you want it and you can give some flexibility to your family on how they want to eat it too but generally what i recommend is having one gram of protein per pound of body weight um, unless you're really really obese I find that that is generally true depending on your goals but if you're 150 pound woman I would shoot for 150 grams of protein and you might need more than one serving of sliders to help you get that for the day so um, message me if you need help or questions on that and I'd love to help you before I forget if you want the full recipe check out our blog ireneironfitness.com and let us know what other kinds of recipes you want to see. Otherwise, we'll keep just throwing out whatever I feel like cooking. Okay, so let's go outside. Okay, here's where the magic happens. Our uh, stove top, what do you call this? Griddle. Our griddle is smoking. And our pitas are oiled. Gonna toss these on, toast them up. And we're gonna get these ready because as soon as you grill, you know, your griddle gets gunky. So you want a nice clean thing to put your nice pitas on. You're gonna let these rip. You want a nice crust because these sliders that we're gonna put on are gonna be amazingly juicy. And you want your pitas to hold up to it. So we have a nice table set up and we are ready to eat some lunch. And God, these burgers smell good, even just raw. <laughs> raw meat smells good to me right now like it's just like the herbs and the spices in there it's amazing so once we have these pitas toasted each pita will get cut into quarter so one pita for Aaron he's gonna have two sliders one pita for me I'm gonna have two sliders and you're gonna use that toasted pita as your bun and it's gonna be amazing so um, we have some veggies set up and that's it we should have doubled and tripled this. I didn't go by my own preaching on this one and I'm already regretting it because we're going to eat half of our plate and that just shows like how, how quickly a pound of meat goes. So anyway, I'm excited. So these pitas are toasting pretty quickly. Depending on the temperature of your griddle, it might take one minute, it might take four minutes. Keep an eye on it. Like they say, as soon as you look away, that's when it's going to burn. So just make sure it doesn't burn. Get it nice and hot, get it nice and toasty. I think I'm just gonna push these out of the way for now and throw these sliders on. These sliders are gonna cook really quick because they're so small. And also, 
because they have been at room temp for so long, they're not going on the grill cold. But this liner definitely makes a big difference. If you don't have this disposable cutting board liner, which I don't expect it, most of you do, you can use, um, you know, wax paper, parchment paper, or even like tin foil just sprayed with some kitchen spray like Pam or olive oil spray. Throw these on. They're gonna cook, they're going, they're going to cook through really quick. And then keep an eye on these. Now with pita bread and anything, I like to do cracked on it, cracked salt and cracked pepper. And it's really about seasoning every layer. These look beautiful. These are the best looking pitas I've ever made. Usually I do these in our little skillet and I gotta say the black stone is killing it on these pitas. We're gonna pull these off. I did end up pulling the pitas off because they were starting to get a little more done than I wanted. So pull these sliders off. It looks so good. We're gonna let them rest for just a minute or so. We're gonna plate up our burgers and we're gonna have a little feast. And the highlight of the show, we're gonna get Aaron on here with his true honest opinion. He's never had these before, so it will be a truly a first time reaction. But look at that. Looks pretty good. So if there's anybody else out there that doesn't like lamb as much like I do, uh, let me know down in the comments so I have a little bit of support out there, but I just wasn't brought up eating a lot of lamb, so it wasn't um, in my uh, my arsenal as a kid. But let's see what happens. And I don't really like the tzatziki sauce either, so. Well, I'll make up for that. Christine so, will handle that. So do I need anything else? No, you go. That's it? Just yeah. handle a little bite of it? Be careful, it's gonna be hot. It might ooze into your mouth. <laughs> Scary. I didn't get any cheese. We'll keep watching. Yeah, that was a good first bite though. A lot of flavor, as usual. Yeah. It's good. This is, it's unique enough that like, you don't get those flavors all the time. So, special treat for me. Yes. So you like it? Mm-hmm. Would you eat it again? Yeah. Would you ever ask me to make these for dinner? <laughs> like, would you, would one day, I'd be like, Aaron, what do you want for dinner? Greek feta burgers, <laughs> sliders. Do you think you'd ever say that? <laughs> Probably not. But. So here's how I make mine. I love onion and I love tomato this looks like a grown-up plate and then this is kind of like a kid's plate you have a lot of vegetables but I do you. have my vegetables so in case any viewers like Shelly are watching and keeping their tabs on you all right so then patty pita you can see why you want these pitas to be nice and sturdy Really, see, it, don't be shy with the tzatziki, guys. That's what really makes it 
And then what I'm going to do, just for fun, I'm going to cut it open just to see what is going on in there. Oh yeah. Get out of here. See it? All right, so we're gonna enjoy our late lunch. Thank you so much for watching. And that's all I got is thank you for being you and thank you for watching and we'll be here again very soon. See you next time. Bye. It's good, I like it. Out of here. The feta is a little different where it doesn't like- Shoot out it? Ooze out. Mm -hmm.